In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up a trailing buy order on the KuCoin spot market. This video is not financial advice and is intended for educational purposes only. If you end up getting some value out of this video, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe for future content. Let's get into the video. The first step to set up a trailing buy order is come on down to your order panel and click right here where it says stop limit. Then select trailing stop from the drop down menu. Now we've configured the order panel. Next, we'll come over here to the buy side of the order panel and up at the top, we have the option of choosing an activation price. And this is simply a price point that activates our trailing buy order to begin to follow behind price action. If we choose to leave this box blank, KuCoin will default to the current market price. So I'll do a couple demonstrations of this. And in this first demonstration, I'll leave the activation price blank and I'll let KuCoin default to the market price. Now I need to choose my trailing delta, and this is going to be the distance that my trailing buy order follows behind price action. I can select 1%, I could do 5%, or you can just put in a custom amount. For this demonstration, I'll just go 3%. This means that my trailing buy order will follow behind price action by 3%. Next, I need to choose a price, and this is going to be the price point of a limit order that gets placed to buy some coins if my trailing buy order gets hit. Keep in mind, if there's a better price point available on the order book when your trailing buy order gets hit, you'll be buying the coins for a better price. So for example, let's come up here to the chart and let's just imagine that I wanna use the current price point as my limit price. And I can see that Bitcoin is currently trading at 30,701. So I'll go ahead and just use that as my price point. We'll come back down here to the order panel and I'll type that into price. I'll go 30,000 and one. Remember, if there's a better price point available on the order book than 30,001 when my trailing buy order gets hit, I'll be buying the coins at a better price. So now what I'll do is I'll choose the quantity of the coins I wish to buy. And for this demonstration, I'll just choose to spend 100% of my balance. Now that I have this trailing buy order set up the way that I want it, I'd come down here and click on buy BTC. Now I've placed that trailing buy order. And if you come over here and click on advanced orders, here's where you'll find the details of your trailing buy order. You can see in my case here that the trigger condition got set at 30,699, which would have been the current market price when I placed this order. Remember, if you don't define your own activation price, KuCoin will default to the current market price. If we come up to the chart, you can see that Bitcoin is already down at 30,693, which is below my trigger condition. This means my trailing buy order has been activated and will begin to follow behind price action by 3%. So as the price of Bitcoin moves to the downside, this trailing buy order will be following by 3%. When Bitcoin bounces and moves up by 3%, this trailing buy order is going to be hit and I'll be buying some Bitcoin for the best available price off of the order book. And the lower the price goes, the better price point I'm going to get when the asset finally bounces and hits my trailing buy order. The main thing is, is it has to get at least 3% below my defined limit price of 30,000. Otherwise, my trailing buy order will be triggering above my limit price and will be simply placing a limit order onto the order book to buy my coins. So in my particular situation, I would need the price to get at least 3% below my limit price because my trailing delta is 3%. And I'll do some more examples of this here shortly. If at any point you want to cancel your trailing buy order, just come down here to advanced orders over here on the right hand side, click on cancel. Now, as you can see, I just canceled that trailing buy order. Now I'll show you an example of setting an activation price. So the first thing we need to do is come back to our order panel make sure we're set to trailing stop. Then we'll choose an activation price to activate this trailing buy order. So let's head up here to the chart and let's imagine that I wanna set an activation price somewhere just below this wick right here. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and just mark that out with the horizontal, maybe something like this. And now I can see a price point on the Y axis of the chart coming in at 29,436. And I'll use that as the activation price. So we'll come down here to the order panel and I'll type that into activation price, 29,436. If the price of Bitcoin comes down to 29,436, that's going to activate a trailing buy order. So now I need to choose my trailing Delta and I'll just do the same thing. I'll go 3%. And then after that, we need to choose our price. And just for fun, I'm going to choose a price point, maybe somewhere down around these candle bodies right here. 
So I'll go ahead and just mark that out with a horizontal, something like this. Now I can see a price point on the Y axis of the chart coming in at 28,320. So let's come down here to price and we'll type that in. We'll go 28,320. Now we need to choose the amount of the asset we wish to buy if our trailing buy order gets activated and then gets hit. And for this demonstration, I'll keep it simple and I'll just put 100%. Now that I have this set up the way that I want it, I'd click on buy BTC. Now I've placed that trailing buy order. And if we come over here and click on advanced orders, here's where we can find the details of my trailing buy order. Now, as you can see under trigger condition that I've set my trigger price at 29,436. So I need the price of Bitcoin to come down to 29,436 to activate my trailing buy order to begin to follow behind price action by 3%. So for this order idea to work, I need Bitcoin to roll over from here, come down, hit my activation price, then I need the price of Bitcoin to continue to the downside and get below my limit price by at least 3%. The trailing stop loss will become activated up here at my activation price and it will be following behind price action by 3%. The moment Bitcoin bounces by 3%, it's going to hit that trailing buy order and I'll be buying some Bitcoin for my limit price or better if there's a better price point available on the order book when my trailing buy order gets hit. The main thing here is I need price of Bitcoin to get below my order price by more than 3% for this idea to work. So if my trailing buy order got activated here, but then the price of Bitcoin came down to this level and then bounced by 3%, it's going to hit my trailing buy order, but it'll simply be placing a limit order down here at 28,320. And this order won't fill until Bitcoin rolls over and comes down and hits my limit price. That's why I need price to get below my limit price by more than 3%. Otherwise, I'm just placing a limit order onto the order book. In my first example, I was activating the trailing buy order at the current market price. So the moment it became activated, the trailing buy order was already following behind price action by 3%. So as long as the price pulls back from that current market price by more than 3%, it'd be guaranteeing that I'd be buying some Bitcoin. If at any point I want to cancel this order, I'd come down here, click on advanced orders, and over here on the right hand side, I'd click on cancel. And there are several ways that you can do this. For one more example, let's just imagine that I want to use the same price point here at 29,436 as my trigger, and maybe I want to choose a different limit price. So we'll come down here, make sure we're set to trailing stop. I'll use that same activation price. I'll go 29,436. I'll use the same trailing delta. I'll do 3%. But this time I'll do a different price. So maybe I want to do 30,000. Now I'll choose the amount of the asset I wish to purchase if my trailing buy order gets hit. And for this demonstration, I'll just do 100% of my balance. And now that I have this set up the way that I want it, I'll click on buy. And now I've placed that trailing buy order with the same trigger condition, but a different limit price. And we can see that if we come over here and click on advanced orders. We can see my same trigger condition here, but we can see a different limit price right here at 30,000. So for this idea to work, I need Bitcoin to roll over, come down, hit my activation price, and then proceed to the downside by more than 3% of my limit price, which is up at 30,000. And the lower the price goes, the better price I'm going to get when the asset finally bounces and hits my trailing buy order. So as you can see, there's lots of ways you can go about using a trailing buy order. At the end of the day, you'll have to choose the parameters that make the most sense for you, but that's how you can set one up. And there you have it. That's how you set up a trailing buy order on the KuCoin spot market. If you got some value out of this video, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe. Also feel free to check out my other KuCoin tutorials, which I've put together in a playlist on my YouTube channel for you. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.